Alright, what is up everybody? Dante Fido here, and you guys know we are doing them wicked sweet pulls for Bardock, because he is a beast and he is broken as shit. Um, so, as you may notice, I do not have 19,000 stones at the moment. That's because I actually did these pulls at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and it is now sometime in the afternoon. I'm off work and I can actually record this properly. So, uh, there will be, uh, apologies for the sound if it's really low or if there's not even any sound. I'm, I might have had it completely turned off. I was doing, I was doing my pulls at 3 in the morning. People were sleeping and couldn't really make a whole lot of noise and everything. So, uh, definitely enjoy that, uh, as we are going to play that now. So, yeah, I already know what I got and everything right now. Um, but let me just say that it was worth it. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy. You down! I 
require eternal... You and me, let's go!
you can't beat me. You and me, let's go! You and me, let's... I'm gonna take you down! I'm gonna take you down! So there you go. There's there's the, there's the despair art coming to an end. So I know earlier I just said it was worth it. You guys are probably like, uh, what the fuck? You spent 19,000 crystals to get one Bardock? Yes, essentially I did. And then I was like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not good with that. That's some bullshit right there. I am going to max out this Bardock. He's broken as hell and I'm going to max him out. So I bought 5,000 more crystals. And I pulled two more Bardocks back to back, did the other two pulls for 4,000 and got uh, a couple freezes actually, and then did one final pull at, five, at, at another 5,000 and got the final Bardock that I needed. So I am in fact rocking a five star sparking Bardock. And fun fact, because I did all this before work, I already have him completely maxed out. Let's go to my PVP team, there we go. I already have him completely maxed out, and he and because I spent all day yesterday farming because I knew he was going to be pretty broken, he's also already at. Whoops. Uh, 
He's already at soul boost. Uh, he's already at 400%. So I already have Bardock completely maxed out, five stars, 400%, ready to go. Ready to show you guys just how much of a beast this guy is. Um, and let's take a look at, let's, there's a few things that make him an absolute beast. Uh, first off, he's a green Saiyan. We haven't had that, like, I think at all. So the fact that he fills that green spot and I used him instead of cooler is just amazing. Um, he fits really well on a team of, of red uh, red and purple. Uh, like I'm using uh, Vegeta and uh, Turles. But you could also use... Or I'm using Super Saiyan Vegeta and Turles. You could also use normal base form purple Vegeta and then Super Saiyan Goku as red and run red, green, uh, purple like that. And that honestly... That'd actually be the optimum team, but I just love Turles and Super Saiyan Vegeta. I gotta keep using them. So look at this guy's fucking stats right here. He has 700k health. He has almost 700k health, nearly 60,000 strike, with 40k defense and both stats just about. That's insane. Like, this guy... This guy's strike is absolutely ridiculous, and he's not a glass cannon at all. He's actually one of the tankiest units in the game. So, you go to Izzard's ability, his final spirit... Deals major explosive damage, plus 20% to own special move arts cards, power for 15 uh, timer counts. Now, I saw that and I was like, okay, so he's going to buff your thing after you use it? I mean, if you draw another blue card in 15 seconds, then I guess that's cool. But he doesn't. He actually buffs himself, and then he launches it. So he does 20% more damage with this attack. Uh, that's freaking awesome. His quiet rage is pretty dope. Uh... Plus 50% to key recovery and cancel attribute downgrade. So when people are debuffing you, bam, pop that and get 50% uh, 50 of your key back, which is amazing. Um, I've had it where I can just keep spamming. I keep I kept pulling green cards and I could just keep doing all my moves over and over because I'm pretty much at infinite key. Uh, his main ability. Oh my god, I will defeat you. All enemies are switch restricted for 10 timer counts, and he gives himself 40% more damage. But wait, it gets better. If you're a Saiyan, he does 24% more strike damage on top of that. In addition to Vegeta, who already has really good strike damage, and Turles, who's kind of balanced on both, but sh extra strike damage is amazing on him too. Uh, so right there, that's amazing that he gives those to those guys. The Saiyan Trader, plus 30% strike damage inflicted when two allies are down. So put, put Bardock as your anchor and he'll rip everyone apart. And then 35% of straight damage inflicted for each downed enemy for 20 timer counts. So when you put him at the end, and then you're still, say you're fighting a 1v3, every time you're downing an enemy, you're just you're just completely melting them. That's It's just absolutely insane. Like, his damage is freaking ridiculous. And then this is, this is honestly the thing that makes him absolute god tier. Plus 20% to key recovery when Tag Saiyan is a battle member. That If you're running a full Saiyan team like I am with Turles and Super Saiyan Vegeta, that's your whole team. Everybody, including Bardock, gets plus 20% to key recovery. That, I, like... I, it, I, I have no words just how absolutely amazing that is. At first when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But then I did it and I, I've, like, done fights with Bardock and everything, and you, like, instantly recover your key back. Like, you hold down the button to recover your key, and in probably about two or three seconds, you're from zero to 100 again. Especially on Vegeta. Super Saiyan Vegeta recovers crazy fast. I guess he's got, like, higher key recovery than normal, but his is insanely quick. And then Barda, or a Turles, eat a fruit of the tree of might, get the key recovery buff, bam, you're back at full. And then... Bardock himself has given had given himself a ton of key, and then be like, "Oh, green card, K, mats out key." It's it's insane how much you can just spam abilities because of this one this one little thing right here. That's oh man, guys, it is like I knew Bardock was gonna be good, but holy crap, dude, he is just he's insane. Like like this is a mobile game. There's gonna be power creep and everything. But I guarantee you guys, if you are running a pure Saiyans team, six months, seven months, a year, two years even, down the road, people will still be using this Bardock. I, like, I can't imagine anyone who is just absolutely as broken as this guy. 
you guys need to pull on this bar. If you plan on running a Saiyans team, I, I know some people are not. Some people are going for Frieza and they want to do a Frieza team with Frost and Cooler and all that. That's cool. If that's your jam, go for it because that works really well too. Frost, Frost buffs the crap out of out of out of uh, uh, blah 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 out of this Frieza uh, Frieza right here. He does. He he buffs them a crap ton because they're both blue. It, it it's honestly really good. You can make a legit Frieza team. But if you are running a Saiyans team. You need this Bardock. He is absolute god tier. I I cannot see myself replacing this Bardock anytime soon. Like as far as as far as being full blooded Saiyan goes, Bardock is here to stay. If you pull him and you get him and you get him up to I want to I'd say at least four stars, but because his five star gives him bonus to Saiyans, you want to get him to five stars. It's it's a huge difference. It really is. Um, but even if you can get just one. You will never replace Bardock. He, I, I want to say he's future-proof. I do not see him becoming like, oh, no, nah, there's people that do way better stuff than him, you know. Even even possibly a year down the road, unless you're getting like the LR or the Legends equivalent. Uh, you're going you're gonna to get Bardock, you're going to hang on to him, and you're never going to replace him. He, he is 100% worth every single crystal that you have. If you're running, if you want to run pure Saiyans, he, he absolutely is. I, like, I can't stress that enough, guys. If you've been holding on to all of your crystals for a banner, it's Bardock. Which sucks, because honestly, I wanted to skip this banner and save it for something else. But then I saw Bardock, and I'm like, he's broken. He's just straight broken. I have to. I have to throw everything I have at him. He will destroy everything in his path. And he does. He, he just gets annihilated. Or he annihilates everything that he fights. Especially now that I've played him at 400%. Oh my god, guys. He's insane. He's he's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, now that I've got my team matched out and everything, I'll show you I'll show you what they can do. Um, but this was just the pull video, so people watching this, do it. Throw everything you have at Bardock. He is 100% worth it if you want to run a Saiyan team. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, that's all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.